All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at this uh, light baffle top for a 101 millimeter can of beans. Um, that top's got a screw on funnel for pouring in and out. It'll let liquid in, but no light. And then this uh, regular stopper top allows you to uh, shake it up. Like shake, 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 shake. We got a 120 and a 35 millimeter reel. We'll take a look at how to assemble them. You will need some well done three acrylic solvent. Oh, hey, all of these files are available now for download at cameradactyl.com. Buy them. So this is the uh, 120 reel and the 35 reel and the funnel and the top. This is the light baffle. The light baffle has three components which we will glue in that make up the light baffle. And each one of these reels is a couple of different parts and we'll take a look at those next to the 120 reel is made up of these two parts and the 35 millimeter reels are made up of two halves and a clip and so let's put those together we'll start with the 120 reel the 120 reel might come off the printer with a little bit of stringing uh, it's important you clean that up in here most important there are two sides and if you have any Sort of stringing or bridging in here which will be the clip and the glue surface you want to clean that out fast forward this part where i'm trimming my parts everybody knows how to do it be careful with your exacto knife okay now we're gonna put the two pieces together we're gonna make sure that the rounded entry to the clip this side uh, is lined up on both okay them together and squeeze and then pour some glue in there um, this is weld on three it's an acrylic solvent but it also works on pla great and what's nice about it particularly for developing tanks is that um, when it's done there's no solvent left it's it's not a glue it just melts the two pieces of plastic together so you're just left with pla when you're done Okay, so you want to squeeze these together. You don't really want to get this on your hands. You can use gloves. Um, yep. And then maybe while it's drying, just um, run your razor. I'm trying to do this upside down and backwards here uh, <laughs> for the camera. Run your razor through, you know, just just once or twice to make sure that you haven't glued the two halves together. It should be very tight sprung clip and there you have it uh leave that to dry for i don't know 20 30 minutes and you have a 120 reel uh, while that's drying let's take a look at the 35 millimeter reel so to assemble the 35 millimeter reels we have the top and the bottom half uh, clean these off if there's any uh, stringing in your printer and then you have this clip um, this clip has two triangular plugs on this side and it has two teeth on this side these teeth, it's kind of hard to see when the reel is assembled, but those will grab uh, into top and bottom sprockets, which I like that method more than other clip methods for uh, holding the end of 35 millimeter film, because unless you have it cocked off by one tooth, you know, diagonal, which is really hard to do when it's loading inside of a reel, uh, it always holds the film nice and straight, which is good for not having the film walk off of the film path towards the end of the reel. Anyway, what we're going to do um, for assembly is put the top and bottom halves together and then press this clip into both of them at the same time. These little triangular holes. Boop. Like that. We want to make sure that this clip is nice and clean and these holes are nice and clean so that they fit. Um, and then also one more thing, which is that the film starting in the center will wind out and the teeth need to be facing in on that spiral so that they can grab the film and hold it from pulling out. So it should be oriented this way and not this way. Okay. So I'm just going to pop them together. I'm just going to use this, uh, wrench to just pop it in on both sides and there it's probably usable like this but um i think it's much better if we use a little bit of weld on so while that's being held together nice and tight by the clip i'm just going to drop a couple of drops in here 
I don't plan on ever getting this on my hand. I'm just using the needle applicator. And it does a nice clean job welding the two pieces of PLA together. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze this together for a second and then I'm gonna put it aside to dry and we will get started on the light baffle. The light baffle has a cap and then three baffles. Uh, they are slightly different sized, the largest being on the very bottom. Like <laughs> This is the bottom plate. This one is the middle plate. This is the top plate. And basically what this allows uh, to happen is that liquid can pass through, but um, light cannot. So we're going to assemble them first, the small guy here. This probably should be printed in something really opaque. It's hard to see. I would recommend a black filament. So in goes the first plate, and I'm going to just use a little weld on here. If I can do it for the camera, looking not where I'm actually aiming. <laughs> Basically just press it in using the needle tip around the edges, flowing some solvent in there. So anywhere it makes contact, it uh, uses capillary attraction to bring in some solvent and melt all that together so it's one piece. All right, so that's our middle guy. Seems in there nice and tight. Okay, so already it's nice and opaque, but we're going to go a couple steps further for the security of our film. <laughs> here is the middle plate, um, and that's going to go in here, and it's separated by a couple of millimeters. But make sure it's seated on its ledge so it is nice and flat. There we go. So now that that's seated, I'm going to add some uh, solvent. Okay, so once the middle plate's in, we're going to do the last one. Again, that sits in a little ledge. And I'll put some solvent in there. I'm going to give that uh, 20 or 30 minutes to dry. All right, so the soup can you're going to use is, uh, I think the official size is big old can of beans. Um, let's give it a measure. 101.2 millimeter can. Um, there's some extra space in this thing. It's got another uh, sort of baffle lid there that can fit onto the can. So the lid doesn't need to fit perfectly tightly to keep light out. It fits both on the inside and outside of the can, um, but you might knock it off, in which case it won't hold, uh, it won't hold light, keep light out. A rubber band uh, around the lip of the can. And then when you press this lid on, and eat the rubber band, and it's perfectly tight, not going anywhere. When you load film, um, you're going to grab two of these notches with the little prongs in the film clip and then push the piece of film down with your opposing thumb like that. It's nice and flat in this section and cupped in this section. And then once you get it going, just keep it cupped and walk it on out. <laughs> this guy on its spool rather than tearing it off so I can use it a million other times. Let's take a look at how to load a 120 reel. Okay, so the 120 reel has a closed slit side and then an open slit side. We're going to load it from the open slit side and note which direction the spiral is going and we're going to load it that way. First, in order to fit between the reels, this film needs to be cupped just a little bit and then slid in here, and then just with your thumb, push it in just a hair, and then you should be good. Keep it cupped with your outer fingers, and walk it on in with your left hand or your right hand. Hey, you can get all this stuff now to download. I won't make it for you at camerdactyl.com. Link in the description. And there's slicing instructions over with the files. 
All right. Thanks for watching. I love you. Goodbye.